Welcome back to Hourglass Channel. Find yourself a suitable sitting position to start your journey today. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Morgan Freeman faced a health setback during the press tour for his new show, Special Ops Lioness, in July 2023, due to a contagious infection. However, he quickly recovered and resumed his activities, maintaining a busy schedule. Despite having to skip some events, Freeman remains committed to his work and has continued to participate in press gatherings alongside Zoe Saldana and Nicole Kidman. Freeman's health journey has been marked by challenges, including his battle with fibromyalgia since a car accident in 2008. Despite the intense pain and fatigue associated with the condition, Freeman has persevered undergoing a four-hour operation to mend nerve damage and wearing a compression glove on his left arm. Currently, Freeman is portraying the character of Edwin Mullins, the U.S. Secretary of State, in Special Ops Lioness. The show centers around a female Marine on a mission to befriend the daughter of a suspected terrorist. Despite his recent health issues, Freeman's dedication to his craft remains unwavering. While there has been speculation about Freeman's health and the possibility of his retirement, it's important to approach such discussions with sensitivity and respect for his privacy. Only Freeman and his close circle know the full extent of his health condition and future plans. Instead of speculating, it's best to send well wishes and support to Freeman as he continues to navigate his health journey and pursue his passion for acting. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. Selena Gomez, celebrated for her music, has also become a prominent advocate for lupus awareness, bravely sharing her own struggles and challenges with the autoimmune disorder. Lupus, characterized by chronic inflammation affecting various parts of the body including the skin, joints, heart, kidneys, and lungs, brings forth a myriad of symptoms such as pain, fatigue, rashes, fevers, and mental health issues. Gomez has been transparent about her journey, which includes undergoing a kidney transplant, chemotherapy, and navigating public heartbreaks. Despite her personal battles, she finds solace in inspiring and uplifting others. However, the constant scrutiny over her body prompted her to address water weight fluctuations caused by her medication, a deeply personal aspect she felt compelled to explain. Managing lupus often entails a complex array of treatment options, each with its own set of challenges and side effects. Medications like hydroxychloroquine are commonly prescribed to control inflammation and reduce flare-ups. However, given the unpredictable nature of lupus, treatment plans must be tailored to each individual's specific needs and type of lupus they have. Corticosteroids, while effective at curbing inflammation, come with their own baggage of potential side effects, including weight fluctuations. Beyond the physical changes, lupus treatments can also lead to headaches, fatigue, mood swings, and more, adding to the uphill battle faced by those managing these conditions. Navigating these treatments can be complex and frustrating for individuals dealing with lupus and other autoimmune diseases. Healthcare professionals tread cautiously with long-term steroid use, aiming to minimize it while exploring alternative medications that may offer relief without the same risks. Through her advocacy and openness, Gomez sheds light on the challenges of living with lupus, providing support and understanding to those facing similar struggles. Since Bruce Willis and his family began their journey in February 2023, they have faced a difficult challenge, the Hollywood action star's transient amnesia. Since Bruce announced he would leave the stage in February 2022, his life and that of his family have undergone unexpected changes, with changes not only in behavior, but also in communication skills. Dementia has created new challenges for Bruce and his family. However, through connection and love, Emma Bruce's wife has always been by his side, providing stability and encouragement. Despite the difficulties, love and music remain strong sources of encouragement. Tula, 
One of Bruce's daughters described how the family faced this challenge on the Drew Barrymore show. Although dementia is a difficult challenge, they maintain their love and connection. Despite Bruce's ignorance of the situation, his presence was a source of encouragement and comfort to the family. Their journey is not only full of challenges, but also moments of happiness and love. Through relying on each other, they learned valuable life lessons and demonstrated the strength and unwavering love of a family. Even though they were placed in difficult circumstances, they still maintained joy and love, capturing memorable moments on their journey. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video. Michael J. Fox the iconic star of Back to the Future, recently opened up in an interview about his arduous journey with Parkinson's disease. Diagnosed at the young age of 29 in 1991, Fox has been battling this relentless disease for over three decades. He candidly discussed the challenges he faces, both physically and mentally, as Parkinson's wreaks havoc on his body. The toll of Parkinson's on Fox's body has been profound. He described how the disease affects his balance, leading to a series of injuries including a shoulder replacement, broken elbow, hand, and face, and almost losing a finger due to infection, not to mention a fractured humerus. The relentless nature of Parkinson's brings stiffness, shakes, and coordination difficulties, worsening over time. Yet, Fox's resilience shines through, as he not only talks about his physical struggles, but also addresses the mental toll of the disease. Balancing Parkinson's alongside personal losses and mental health struggles is no easy feat, but Fox finds solace in the support of his family. Despite the lack of privacy and the challenges he faces daily, he cherishes moments with loved ones and remains optimistic about the future. In the midst of chaos, Fox's positivity remains unwavering. Despite the reality of falling and breaking bones during normal activities, he hopes for fewer fractures tomorrow. He serves as a beacon of optimism in the storm, reflecting on his more than 30 years of grappling with Parkinson's. Fox's determination extends beyond his personal struggles. Through the Michael J. Fox Foundation, he has become a warrior for Parkinson's awareness and research, raising funds and spreading hope for a cure. Despite the disease's underfunding for research and treatment, Fox continues to chip away at the barriers, inspiring others with his resilience and unwavering optimism. In 2018, Wendy Williams made a significant revelation about her battle with Graves' disease, a condition she initially overlooked when it first began to affect her. Speaking out on Good Morning America, Williams addressed the tendency of women to prioritize others over their own health, juggling family responsibilities and more while neglecting their own well-being. Recognizing the need to prioritize herself, Williams boldly declared that it was time for Wendy first. Rather than keeping her diagnosis private, Williams chose to step up, speak out, and raise awareness about Graves' disease from the outset. During her show in February 2018, she openly discussed how her thyroid condition was connected to Graves' disease, explaining the symptoms and their impact on her health, including changes in her eyes that her fans had noticed. Despite facing the challenges of dealing with Graves' disease since 2018, Williams initially struggled to identify the condition amid menopause symptoms and other health issues. However, she eventually recognized the signs, including a blackout during Halloween in 2017 and ongoing high blood pressure and sodium issues, prompting her to take action. Acknowledging the importance of prioritizing her health, Williams made the difficult decision to prioritize self-care and step away from her show in 2022. After spending two months in rehab addressing her health concerns, she is now back home and looking forward to future projects with renewed energy and enthusiasm. Williams expresses gratitude to her fans for their unwavering support throughout her journey. In 2018, at the age of 51, Selma Blair courageously revealed her diagnosis of multiple sclerosis, a condition that disrupts nerve signals in the central nervous system. Fast forward to 2021, and she shared the uplifting news of being in remission with no new nerve lesions forming. However, Blair's journey with MS has been anything but easy. 
she candidly discusses the challenges she faces on a daily basis. Despite improvements, pain remains a constant companion, and dystonia, causing muscle spasms akin to a stutter or Tourette's, presents its own set of obstacles. These symptoms, often invisible to others, can be difficult for people to understand. Blair describes a persistent stiffness within her body, impervious to traditional treatments like Botox or massages. She underwent a hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, resetting her immune system after intense chemotherapy, yet her pain persists. However, amidst her own struggles, Blair has become a vocal advocate for change. Partnering with Isaac Mizrahi, she launched an adaptive clothing line, recognizing the need for garments that cater to individuals with dexterity issues. Additionally, she tirelessly advocates for improved accessibility to medical care for those living with MSA. Through her openness and vulnerability, Blair hopes to provide a voice for others navigating similar challenges, fostering a sense of community and support. Her journey is not just about her, it's about advocating for a more inclusive and understanding world for all individuals living with MSE. Don't rush to escape this boring video and forget comment number two. I will change it if I know you hate it. Dan Reynolds, the frontman for Imagine Dragons, kept his battle with ankylosing spondylitis, AS hidden for years. However, during a concert in Leeds, UK in front of over 13,000 fans, he decided to share his struggle with the condition openly. Reynolds revealed that ASE is an autoimmune disease where the immune system mistakenly attacks the joints, causing arthritis and confusion within the joints. For years, Reynolds chose to stay silent unwilling to confront the reality of his illness. But in November 2015, he decided to break his silence and open up to the world about his condition. Since then, he has continued to raise awareness by hosting a web series called This Is Life Live, aiming to shine a light on this lesser known disease. Partnering with the Spondylitis Association of America and Novartis, the show highlights inspiring stories of individuals thriving with AS showcasing that despite the challenges, many are living fulfilling lives. Reflecting on his past, Reynolds believes his symptoms began in high school with unexplained knee pain, later followed by ankle pain. Despite resistance and skepticism from family members, he finally received an AS diagnosis after years of seeking answers from multiple doctors. Managing his health involves regular exercise, a balanced diet, and biologic medication. Although the unpredictability of AS remains a concern, currently in remission, Reynolds hasn't forgotten the isolation and chronic pain that comes with battling ASA. He remains committed to advocating for those fighting the disease, using his platform to shed light on AS and provide support to others facing similar struggles. Through his openness and advocacy efforts, Reynolds hopes to bring attention to this overlooked disease and offer hope to those affected by it. Yolanda Hadid bravely opened up about her challenging time on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, revealing a tale that wasn't easy to tell. Dealing with neurological Lyme disease during her first season on the show, she described every day as a battle. Initially diagnosed with the condition during filming, she had hoped for improvement in the following seasons, only to realize that Lyme disease was a long-term struggle that would persist for over a decade. Facing the cameras while grappling with her health was an immense challenge for Hadid. Amidst her shaky health, she longed for a sense of love and security in new relationships, only to be hit with accusations from her housewife's castmates, alleging that she was faking her illness. This not only deeply affected her, but also impacted her children, who also suffer from Lyme disease. Following this experience, Hadid made the decision to step away from reality TV, recognizing that the drama and conflicts were no longer aligned with her sensitive nature. Her journey with Lyme disease has been far from easy. In an interview with Vogue, UK Hadid candidly admitted to moments where she wished to escape the relentless pain caused by the illness. Describing her decade-long battle as a living nightmare, she detailed symptoms such as fatigue, brain fog, memory loss, anxiety, and insomnia which left her feeling deeply depressed. Despite the darkness, her children served as her rock, providing her with the strength to persevere. Through her experiences, 
Hadid emphasizes the importance of understanding others' struggles and avoiding judgment based solely on appearances. Reflecting on those challenging times, she acknowledges that they ultimately served as valuable lessons in disguise, shaping her perspective and resilience as she continues to navigate life's obstacles with courage and grace. Epilepsy has been a part of Lil Wayne's life since childhood, although he initially kept it hidden during his early stardom. However, a week-long hospital stay due to frightening seizures compelled him to publicly confront his health issues. Since then, Lil Wayne has been open about his epilepsy, discussing it in interviews and revealing how it has impacted his life, even causing him to redirect flights to manage his health during concert tours. Despite the challenges, Lil Wayne has been actively trying lifestyle changes to reduce the severity of his seizures and has become a source of inspiration for others dealing with the same condition. His personal experiences, including the loss of a cousin to seizures, have motivated him to understand epilepsy better. Epilepsy is a brain disorder characterized by recurring, unprovoked seizures, with causes ranging from brain injuries to genetic factors. While epilepsy is incurable, treatments such as medication, devices, dietary changes, or surgery aim to control seizures, enabling individuals to lead healthy lives. Lil Wayne has faced difficult moments with epilepsy, experiencing severe seizures that could have been life-threatening. Stress and overwork have been identified as triggers for his seizures, leading to health scares and emergency landings during flights. Despite multiple seizures over the years, Lil Wayne has remained resilient, continuing to make music and tour. Though his journey with epilepsy has brought challenges, Lil Wayne's determination and resilience continue to shine through inspiring others who face similar health battles. Even amid setbacks, Lil Wayne's unwavering spirit serves as a beacon of hope for those navigating epilepsy and its complexities. Nick Jonas has been on a journey with type 1 diabetes since his teenage years, and now he's teaming up with Dexcom for a new Super Bowl ad aimed at empowering people battling the same condition. The ad features the Dexcom G7C GM system, a sleek device for tracking glucose levels in real time without the hassle of finger pricking. In the commercial shot in Los Angeles, Jonas showcases the next-gen device, aiming to shine a spotlight on diabetes research and demonstrate what technology can do for individuals with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Reflecting on his diagnosis at the age of 13, Jonas recalls feeling alone and uncertain about what the future held. Partnering with Dexcom allows him to offer hope and visibility to others facing similar challenges. Despite facing hurdles along the way, Jonas has found balance and feels healthier than ever, focused on maintaining his health for his family. He emphasizes the importance of having a strong support system, acknowledging that the journey can be rocky, but having support can be a game changer. After recently receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Jonas is excited about the upcoming Jonas Brothers album marking the start of an exciting new chapter for the trio. Through his partnership with Dexcom and his advocacy work, Jonas continues to inspire and empower individuals living with diabetes, showing that with the right tools and support, it's possible to thrive despite the challenges. Body amidst the chaos of the pandemic, Hal Berry's proactive approach to managing her diabetes during the COVID-19 pandemic highlighted her commitment to staying healthy and safe. Recognizing the heightened risk that individuals with diabetes faced, she took extra precautions, creating a designated zone in her home to minimize exposure to the virus. Having lived with diabetes since her early 20s, the exact type of which remains ambiguous, Barry understood the potential severity of contracting COVID-19. While people with diabetes were inherently more susceptible to catching the virus, the impact could be more severe if they did. Beyond concerns about COVID-19, Barry's diabetes also made her more prone to certain health issues, such as bone fractures. During the filming of John Wick Chapter 3, she accidentally cracked three ribs initially attributing it to a bone condition or early osteoporosis before realizing the connection to her diabetes. 
despite the challenges posed by the pandemic and her health condition. From at home, workouts involving her six-year-old son to outdoor cardio activities like hiking and jogging, she found ways to stay physically and mentally resilient. By prioritizing her health and embracing an active lifestyle, Barry navigated the uncertainties of the pandemic with determination and vitality. Anthony Anderson, renowned for his roles in shows like Blackish and movies like Barbershop, is taking a proactive stance against the dual threat of type 2 diabetes and heart problems. With over two decades of experience managing type 2 diabetes, Anderson has become a vocal advocate for lifestyle changes and proactive health management. Partnering with Novo Nordisk for their Get Real About Diabetes campaign, Anderson is spreading a message of hope and empowerment. He emphasizes the importance of lifestyle adjustments, such as maintaining a balanced diet, staying physically active, and establishing a consistent routine. For Anderson, it's about smart choices and prioritizing his health every day. Understanding the dangerous link between diabetes and heart health, Anderson is particularly focused on raising awareness about the risks posed by high blood sugar levels. Diabetes can lead to damage in blood vessels, increasing the likelihood of heart-related issues like high blood pressure and cholesterol problems, making heart disease the leading cause of death in the U.S. Despite these challenges, Anderson sees potential for positive change. With nearly 35 million American adults living with some form of diabetes, he believes that managing the condition is about adopting a holistic approach to life. Dr. Helen Barron, working alongside Anderson in the campaign, underscores the importance of a three-pronged strategy involving diet, exercise, and medication. Anderson's influence as a celebrity has proven impactful, with individuals expressing gratitude for his efforts in transforming their lives. His journey and advocacy serve as living proof that change is possible, inspiring others to take control of their health. Through the Get Real campaign, Anderson continues to share his story and offer practical advice, striving to be a beacon of healthy living for his community. Tom Hanks, the legendary actor, has been open about his ongoing battle with type 2 diabetes, a health challenge he attributes to a combination of family genetics and less than ideal eating habits. The news of his diagnosis came in 2013 when his doctor raised concerns about pre-diabetes, but Hanks initially didn't fully grasp the significance of the warning. However, when type 2 diabetes hit in earnest, Hanks realized the gravity of the situation. He was advised by his doctor to slim down to his high school size in order to effectively manage the condition. Over the years, Hanks made significant lifestyle changes to shed excess weight and improve his overall health. Exercise became a cornerstone of Hank's strategy in combating diabetes. He committed to an hour of physical activity each day, whether it was hitting the treadmill, going for a stroll, or hiking with his furry companion. Additionally, Hanks took a hard look at his diet, acknowledging past habits of indulgence and making a concerted effort to monitor his meals closely. Despite occasional slips that led to feelings of self-criticism, Hanks developed a strict routine to help him stay on track. This routine includes starting the day with coffee, followed by a workout and shower, providing structure and motivation to maintain healthy habits. Through discipline and perseverance, Hanks continues to navigate his journey with type 2 diabetes, demonstrating that proactive management and lifestyle changes can make a significant difference in overall health and well-being. George Clooney recently made a candid revelation about his teenage years during an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel's anniversary show. He took a nostalgic trip down memory lane, reminiscing about being diagnosed with Bell's palsy as a teenager. Bell's palsy is a temporary condition that causes weakness in facial muscles on one side, and Clooney didn't shy away from sharing his experience. As Kimmel was about to share some old photos for a good laugh, Clooney beat him to it 
unveiling a picture of his half-paralyzed face due to Bell's palsy. Instead of waiting for jokes, Clooney dared Kimmel to find humor in the situation. Surprisingly, Kimmel opted for a more serious response, acknowledging the weight of the moment. The conversation took a poignant turn, but it all started with a lighthearted moment when Kimmel showed a snapshot of a young Clooney sporting a bowl cut and glasses, teasingly blaming his mom for the haircut. However, when Clooney revealed the photo showing the effects of Bell's palsy on his smile, the mood shifted. Bell's palsy, characterized by temporary facial paralysis on one side, is often a short-term illness with mysterious origins. It typically occurs once in a lifetime and for Clooney, it was part of his teenage experience. By opening up about his personal journey with Bell's palsy, Clooney shed light on a condition that affects many and showed vulnerability in sharing his own story. Zoe Saldana has been dealt a tough card, grappling with the same autoimmune disease as her mother and sisters, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. This condition is like a battle against one's own body as the immune system attacks the thyroid tissues, leaving the individual drained in fatigue due to constant inflammation. To manage her condition, Saldana has adopted a clean eating routine, eliminating gluten and dairy from her diet to help alleviate symptoms. Despite her love for food, Saldana recognizes the importance of dietary adjustments to maintain her health. In her 20s, she received concerning news about calcium loss in her bones, putting her in the same health boat as her mom and grandmother. However, Saldana doesn't let her health challenges slow her down. As a mother to twin boys, she remains busy and doesn't pause for a breather. Instead, she's determined to pursue even more female-centric roles in her packed schedule. Even though she often finds herself as the lone woman on set, Saldana is ready to shake things up and change the narrative. Being the odd one out isn't her style, and she's committed to using her influence for the greater good of women in the industry. Despite her illness, Saldana continues to fight significant battles while making a name for herself in Hollywood. The video ends here. Remember, there are still many other interesting and engaging videos in my playlist. Before you leave, please leave a comment number one if you found the video interesting, or number two if not. It's that simple, isn't it? Thank you.